Hey guys, and welcome back to Metal Arms Glitch in the System. Let's continue. So, when we last left off, we tore our way through some kind of missile complex, like trench kind of network. Now, we found ourselves at the enemy compound. This mission, my god, this mission. Nice work, Slowpoke, but you're too late. That mill bastard is going to transmit the location of Droid Town from the comm array. You can make up for your little screw-up by destroying both dishes on the roof of the compound. Then, recover Krug's chip. Now hop to it, kid. Get that excellent gear. Damn, all right. Calm down. Keep your fucking exhaust pipe on. Right, yes, this mission is so much fun. We have a new vehicle. Oh, yes. We have some serious bloody hardware right here. Now, this is essentially this game's version of a war uh, of a warthog of a scorpion, and it is incredible. The tank itself is invincible, like all vehicles in this game, but its weapons, unlike the original Halo, anyway, its weapons are deadly accurate, and this thing truly is a weapon of unimaginable power. Now, I was playing through this earlier, this mission, and I was thinking to myself, when I actually got to this section here, just how criminal it is that these guys never got to um, make the second game. Can you imagine what they could have done with the power of the uh, 360 and possibly even PS3? This is just crazy, considering what they squeezed out of the original Xbox. Uh, you know, it's very impressive, and the GameCube for that matter. Like, I can't think of too many games. I mean, uh, that's a bit unfair. There were a lot of games, um, you know, on the 6th gen that were... Was it 6th gen? Yes. That were very impressive, uh, you know, that did kind of push hardware. And yes, Halo was one of them. But... This this game was a technical marvel. And the fact that, you know, quite a lot of the time we're up in the 60 FPS range. You know, not when the action starts kicking up. But, I mean, some levels more than others play really buttery smooth. Alright, let's go lay the fucking fear of God into these guys. Come on, baby. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Oh, that cannon. It feels so powerfully raw. Okay, not bad, guys. Not bad. Anybody else? And I love how well animated and just chunky this tank is. You know, when you fire the gun, the whole tank recoils and moves backwards. Nice amount of physics. There, you got the machine gun going that just feels awesome. And the sound effects in this game as well, which, again, that's another thing um, that the Xbox has. Although you, you won't quite get that on YouTube. Um, the Xbox had its Dolby Digital Live stuff going on, which was incredible for this game. Uh, I think, yeah, the GameCube just had Pro Logic 2, which was, yeah. Now, notice this is different. This is very different. Now, if we hadn't already upgraded the spew, this would be where we get the level 2 spew upgrade. Um, but, you know, we've already got it, so... Uh, I should probably have held off buying it, but hey, you know, it is what it is. We got it a little bit earlier. I'm not sure if there's anything else to have a little look around here. I do love blowing all these bits and pieces up, though. How could you not? And that's another thing as well. There's a nice amount of destruction in this game, too. That's something that even now you don't see in games. You know, Battlefield tried it a little bit. But that was it, really. The vehicles in this game control really well as well. That's definitely worth mentioning. Um, you know, the controls in general have just held up so bloody well. I think uh, the frame rate has a lot to do with that as well. I mean, there are some quirks. But for the most part, it really has held up beautifully. Anyway, let's go take our tank back over here. 
sadly, uh, that's almost the end of the tank fun. Pretty sure you do get it again later. I mean, the way I'm recording this LP at the moment is I'm playing through on the test file, playing through the, the level, and then I'm going to come back and replay it here for you guys. Just because I think it adds. It does help knowing these levels a little bit better. Knowing what to expect. And to be honest, another reason I'm doing that is because the game's just so much fun. It really is. Come get some. Come yeah, on, you fuckers. I know there's more of you in there. I know there's more of you in there. You're going to be naughty little sausages and hide, aren't you? And what a shame. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Two Titans incoming. What a shame that the Xbox's uh, emulation of this game is really not that great. That's really criminal, unfortunately. Because playing this in a higher resolution on a modern con Well, technically we are playing this on a somewhat modern console. The Wii U is definitely modern in my books. I mean, the bloody thing's only about eight years old. No, when did the Wii U come out, actually? 2002. 2002? What the hell am I talking about? That's the GameCube. Uh, maybe the GameCube was 2001. No, the Wii U came out in 2012, I believe. There we go. Right, now we've rocked that poor sod's fucking life. Let's continue. Uh, I don't think there's really much in here to find. Now, there are secret chips and whatnot, but I don't really know where they are. Some of them are just so bloody well hidden, you know? Uh, you know, let's switch up to the cleaner. The cleaner can be a lot of fun to use. Not that I really use it that much. But it can be devastating against those small little um, grunts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called grunts. What's frustrating is I don't have the manual to this game anymore. Uh, manuals... I do remember the manual for this game being amazing, but my Xbox version is... Uh, I've got the box and the disc, but I don't have a, a manual, which is really sad. Uh, this game apparently is commanding quite a high price for the GameCube as well, which is curious. It doesn't cost a whole lot on the PS2. And the Xbox isn't too bad. But it is interesting just to see how prices go up for these old titles. I genuinely did think this game would be quite a cheap game. When I first started looking into it, just because of how relatively unknown it is. Come to daddy. There we go. Shred him. Oh, this gun is just so good. Come on, you little dipshit. Come on. There we go. Oh, I see. Probably a waste throwing that thing straight into him, but it's fine. Let's get the coring charges back out. Definitely want to disable... Ah, we got rammed up the ass. Son of a bitch. Hello. Yeah, we really need to take this generator offline. Because that's just going to keep pumping out troops. Which would be okay if they actually, you know, had a chance of giving us money. But they don't, sadly. Right, well, that's this area utterly pacified. Oh, God. He says way too optimistically. Or too prematurely, I should say. Wow. Let's go get some health back. Luckily, there should be a good chunk of that laying around. We can operate the gun, but we don't need to just yet. Let's just head back for a minute. See if there's any more health back here. Oh, shit. We can't go back out. Oh, there is health up there, though. That's cool. We'll just go grab that. Definitely want our batteries fully charged. Isn't that right, Glitch? Empty batteries equals a sad, depressed robot. Am I right? 
Okay, that'll do for now. Yeah, need to be really careful about those guys with the rivet guns. They do not piss around. And as you can see, they can really rack the damage up. Because not only those pivot, pivot, pivots, pivot, rivets. What am I thinking of? Pivots. Uh, not only do they hurt going in, they fucking hurt when they rupture as well. They really hurt. Ah, oh, hey guys. Yeah, how would you like some of your own medicine, huh? Huh? Yes, that's what we're talking about. Unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say, unfortunately, he died with a load of uh, washers that I didn't think we could get. But luckily, good old glitchy. I uh, don't think we need that. Nope. Yeah, luckily, glitch does have, like, a magnet. Oh. Who's there? Glitch. Ooh, that was good. I was going to say that we need a chip. And we now have a chip. Boy, are we glad you showed up. We got caught trying to jack some spare parts for the Rebellion. On our way, we spotted some Class 5 power generators. We could help you take them out. By the way, you need a scope? Here you go. It's a little used, but it'll manage. Just wipe that uh, oil off the lens there. <laughs> <laughs> I shall wipe the uh, oil off the lens, don't worry. Right, so now we can um, zoom in twice. Or three times, actually. Which is pretty bloody gnarly, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got them, we got them. Stand back, guys. Ah, that hurts. Yep, this probably isn't the best way to hold these guys down. Yeah... Yeah, that gun is a red herring. Oh, you son of a bitch. Really? Oh, that's savage. See what I mean? Uh, when I said that this game has really inconsistent checkpoints. Yeah. Okay. Catch you guys back in a second. Right. Let's go sling some rockets at these guys. Oh, hit him right in the foot. Let's see how long we can keep our buddies alive. Hopefully, they'll be able to do us some good for a while. Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Going to have to hack through those. Okay. Yep, you got it. I'll get in the pillbox. Don't have to ask me twice. As long as there's no titans. <laughs> well, I'm all over it. Uh, oh, for Christ's sake, guys. Guys, seriously. Well, one of our guys has just charged on in there, but hopefully he's not going to kill himself too badly. Whoa. Whoa. I did not know we could do that. We literally blew that guy's legs completely off. I did not know that was a thing. I knew we could disable the leg, but I didn't know we could take both their legs out. That's pretty savage. I approve. Okay, now there's some more shotgun down here. Let's go grab that because I've got a feeling we're going to need that before uh, our luck changes today. Ah, uh, oh, you son of a... Where was the shotgun? I know there was one loitering around here somewhere. Now, this would definitely be a lot easier if they'd let us take the tank in here, but, you know. I guess it can't all be fun in games. I always forget about that shield as well. But then we don't really need it when we're slinging lead at those titans from that tank. And that is... Definitely the way to do it. I know there's a bloody shotgun here somewhere. And I am not leaving without my ammo. Every shotgun shell counts, kids. Coring charge. Ah. Maybe there isn't another shotgun. Maybe we picked it up. But I don't remember that. But then my memory stinks. So that's not surprising. Alright guys, maybe there is no shotgun. Maybe Titan has come down with a touch of the brain rot. Maybe I need more oil. 
in my head or something. Right, okay. Ooh, hello. Hello. You know what we could try? Let's wipe the oil off our new scope. And see how good the eight time zoom is. It's not bad, actually. Oh, God. Hello. Where the hell did you come from? You're a little snake in the grass. Okay. You know what? When in doubt, get in the turret. You can come and target the noise all you like, sunshine. Oh, yes. Peace through overwhelming firepower. Oh, God. Yeah, this might not be working as well as I thought. There's a good chance this really isn't having the effect I wanted. Yep. Oh, God. Hello. Well, he's gone. Sadly, so is one of my buddies. Funny enough, it always appears to be the rocket guy that survives. Funny, that. Uh, let's... Get some core and charges in here. Oh, yes. That's how it's done. Ow. Don't think that actually hurt. Yeah, open fire, guys. Come on. No prisoners. Okay. Oh, God. Hello. Definitely don't want this thing to be activated. And how about let's actually hit this thing. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. I don't know if that was actually activated. Oh, you little snake in the grass. You son of a bitch. Enjoy that. Oh, yes. Yeah, that made a mess. No time for tears, Millbots. Now, look at this shit in here. There's an upgrade. But how do we get that? Is my question. Because we sure shit are not getting up there that way. Huh. Ah. Could it be? Up here, maybe. If I can't work this out, I am going to pause it and have a walk around. Because I want that stuff. I want all that stuff. One does simply not turn down upgrades. Hmm. And there's definitely no way through here. I mean, we've got a button there. Maybe it's something to do with that. Uh, not sure. How can we get up here? Let's have a little look. Maybe up here, maybe? No, because we can't quite get enough lift. Oh. We've got a job to do. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. But we also have loot. And goodies to get. Alright, well, we've got a Titan down here. And not many rivets left. That's bad news. Hopefully. Yes, there we go. And cause it enough damage. Oh, right in the... Right in the backpack. Now, we don't know if that actually does more damage. Gonna say probably not. Yeah, there we go. That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, definitely want that upgrade. Hmm. Can't get in there. What about this? It doesn't appear to do anything. Come on, baby. Nope. Well, what we could do is go in here. 
And there is a switch. This is where they're building and repairing tanks and whatnot. Well, let's make their day significantly worse. Get rid of that Titan. And finish the rest of these fucktards off. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Feel free to sling some rockets downrange. Ah, oh, yeah. Area pacified. Now, there's that shotgun I wanted. Got some more coins. Groovy. Now, this tank's definitely uh, a little bit damaged. Look at this. A little tank engine there and everything. Uh. I don't even know what that upgrade is. It, ah, bollocks. It's possible. It's an upgrade that we already have, but... Yeah, I still, for my own sanity, want to know how to get in there. Okay. Ah, you son of a bitch. Right, stop being a bitch. Okay. And get up there. This really is not that hard. I'm making it look way harder than it is. Alright, not bad. Definitely could use some more rocket ammo as well. It would be nice if that's an upgrade. Well, I was going to say, it would be nice if that's an upgrade for a weapon that we don't have. It will be. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go take control of an enemy droid. And see if we can get our asses over there. Are you shooting me? All right. I thought he was actually shooting me because I'm controlling an enemy uh, droid then. I was going to say that's kind of cool and annoying at the same time. Now, let's go see if we can push this button in here. Now, what does that do, if anything? Uh, we're going to lose the signal if we get down here. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, well, it's nothing to do with that, then. So, pray tell, how does one get this stuff? Ah. What about onto that? Onto that. Yes, yes, we're getting some... Ah. Okay. Okay, I think I've cracked it. So says I. Yes, this yeah, this has to be it. This has to be it. Yes, this looks promising. All right. Um. Okay. So what's for? Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually go anywhere else. Right. Cool. What have we got down here then? This looks like some mean ass motherfucking vehicle. We've got another EMP. Wow, we got three EMPs. I did not know we could hold that many. What's behind this thing? Nothing, apparently. Alright. Okay. That's fine. So, that is... Oh, it's the mining laser upgrade. Uh... Okay. I suppose. I mean, the mining laser level 2 is kind of ass. The level 2 laser can be charged up by pulling halfway down on the trigger and then release to fire. Uh, yeah, so you've got that standard shot, obviously, apart from the fact it's yellow now. And we can hold the weapon down to build up a charge and then let go of the button. Seems really powerful. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it isn't. <laughs> it's, again, I suppose it's like better than nothing. Because it's a weapon that you're always going to have. But, yeah, it's... Again, it's it's still a, an absolute last resort weapon. Now, I'm pretty sure the final upgrade of this gun ain't too bad. I'm pretty sure it gives you uh, a second barrel. This game likes doing that. Giving you second barrels for things. Anywho. That's that. Ah, wait. It's not quite that, is it? No. Nope, we need to get another droid. Oh my 
God, the explosions in this game, even after all these years, are still so satisfying. Yeah, so we need to get another, another droid. Come on, dude. Hey, and our little robot friend is still alive. Quite happy with that. Whoa. Yeah, I'm... Okay, yeah, I'm injured. I'm not sure what's happening there. Maybe when we first spawn, he is firing at us. Or maybe there's something to do with the AI. And when this dude first emerges, he's under com uh, computer control and he shoots at our guy? I don't really know. Kind of strange. But anyway, there's our way out. Let's get rid of ourselves. With extreme prejudice. We don't like green. There we go. Come on, my friendly droid. Let's get out of here. We've got no rivets left. Is there any rivets left? Uh, we're not doing bad on everything else, so... Yeah, it's fine. We'll come across more sooner rather than later, I am sure. Right, let's blow this place. Beat 20. It's so strange, isn't it? It's like 20 minutes, 39 seconds to earn a speed chip. Yeah, I think that can be done. Hey, we got all the speed chips too. Not bad. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.